The head of legal department at the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives notified members of parliament that she was not involved in the procurement process which led to awarding of contract to renovate the ministry premises at Farmer's House. But regarding this matter, I will tell the committee without fear or favor that I have not been involved in this at any point. This adds information to the queries which the Parliamentary Committee on Trade and Tourism bases for the steps the ministry undertook to bypass procurement regulations in disguise of restricted bidding. This is not a defense to the accounting officer on her work done. This is a defense of the ministry. That is what we are tasked to do as legal officers. My learned colleague has absconded from making a defense to the ministry. If you first make a defense to the ministry on its Our rules, yeah. and, then you, and then you look into, into the conduct of specific, of specific procurements and all that. The controversy over Tom Opio, the office attendant who later signed the procurement documents, prolonged the committee session, which sought for the legal procedures. I was uh, struck of the system, and uh, I tried to lock in the system. I was no longer accessing, and she can confirm it. So who did the procurement for the vehicles? Achuera, Tom, and Opio, Tom. Because the Tom could be on the system when the PS is not aware. Did he get this authorization from the PS? So that we know that whatever he's doing is with the full authorization and approval of the PS. When you read section 45 of the Public uh, Finance Management Act, I believe that uh, the accounting officer, in exercise of her duties, and... Uh, her decision-making considers that uh, she's doing so for the best interest uh, of by the budget control under Section 45.2. Backed by the PS, Geraldine Sally, the ministry officials say that the time crisis and limited staff triggered the move for the restricted bidding, which cost was above the legal requirement of 500 million. Uh, I, I had also limited uh, staff there because I only had uh, Mr. Lapien and Mr. Chuera and then also the office attendant. But the office attendant who was there was actually a graduate of Makere University Procurement and Supplies and also has a diploma. So his CV is here. So this is a man who actually had potential only that he did not find a job in his profession. If someone's job description is very clear, much as someone must be having a PhD, but the title reads that this is an officer attendant. Chair, is the PS in order? If the accounting officer in her wisdom thinks that in determining risk management, a certain officer can execute a budget better than a certain officer because maybe of sickness, it is within her powers under Section 45.2 to write to the accountant general to designate an officer to perform I, this I, I, The Trade and Tourism Committee of Parliament, chaired by Mwine Mpaka, is in its final stages of investigating the misuse of the supplementary budget for purchase of cars and renting of offices by the Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News. This is to assist the Ministry of Trade and Tourism.